We are here in a studio in London as a team of sculptors and set designers plan the final elements to a scene which will feature in a major new Star Wars experience opening at Madame Tussauds London in May. The major new experience being created in collaboration with the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm will feature 16 of Star Wars' most famous heroes and villains in scenes recreating some of the most iconic moments from Star Wars Episodes 1 to 6, including the Jedi Master Yoda in his swamp on Dagobah. This new experience is different to anything we've ever done before. It's not just about our wax figures, but recreating some of the scenes from some of the most iconic films films ever made, which fans will be able to truly immerse themselves in. As well as visiting Master Yoda in his misty swamp, guests will be able to join Han Solo in a recreation of the Cantina Bar. You'll also be able to sit alongside Chewbacca in a recreation of the Millennium Falcon, plus lots, lots more. It's a huge responsibility working on such a, um, uh, an iconic character um, for me and, and the whole of the team of artists, um, not least of all because many of us are, are fans. We are making a great effort to make sure that, that fans of the films will be happy and enjoy the experience when it opens in May. And this figure was a particular challenge to make, not least because even though he's only 66 centimetres tall, he's still made with the absolute accuracy that we will uh, with any of our wax figures. And it took a team of 20 artists four months to create and to, to make to the, the accurate standard uh, that we have. The first part of the process is that we uh, sculpt the entire figure in clay over a metal armature and then we do a silicon mold of the head, the hands and the body and the head is produced in wax and uh, the hands are produced in wax and the body is produced in fiberglass. Once the uh, various parts are cast, uh, the head and hands go to the hair and colouring department where they are coloured using um, oil paints that are put on in layers so that you get an accurate representation of, of the texture. Um, the hair is then inserted, the hairs are inserted one by one and the result is what you see here today.